Hi, this is Bob Paskins. I'm a sales consultant and a strategist, as well as the developer of the Growth Matrix, which looks to elevate your salespeople and your sales processes to achieve desired growth. Today, we're looking at your ideal core customer base and the problems that can come about if you move off of that core customer base. You can find that in the discovery element of my growth matrix. One of the problems that I see with companies when they move off of their core ideal base is something that I call SOS. And SOS is, stands for shiny object syndrome, where companies who are focusing in this one area see this shiny object, which could be a lot of money way over here, and decide to put together all of the resources to capture that shiny object. Typically, that can create two problems. The first one is they aren't sure if they can actually get that shiny object, and if they get it, what they're gonna do with that customer. The second is they have to take a lot of resources which create their good ideal customer base, their good business, and shift them to try to get that shiny object. Well, I was working with a company, and this company's, their ideal space was working with manufacturers. When all of a sudden one of the partners came in and said, I have a new idea for a new arm of the company. You see, I was talking to my neighbor, and he runs a large trucking outfit, and I think we can create this arm of the company which would be able to get him as a client. And by getting him as a client, because it's a large company, it would cover the costs for us to go out and create this new arm for the company. Unfortunately, it did not work out that way. By chasing that shiny object of the trucking company, two years and over $1 million was spent to try to get that shiny object. Do you know what happened? They only got one client. Sadly, it was not this large trucking company, but a much smaller one, which made their arm incredibly unprofitable. They spent millions of dollars on this for one unprofitable client. The second problem was they took some of their key people from their manufacturing arm and moved them into the developmental arm to go after this shiny object. And by doing that and taking these key people away, their production numbers were down 20%. Again, all because they chose to chase that shiny object. So, if you are looking out at your business and you see yourself really struggling to figure out who your ideal core customers are, or you continue to find yourself chasing all of these shiny objects without the results that you want, feel free to reach out to me through my website at bobpaskins.com. Thanks for watching.